hey guys and welcome back to my channel today in this video i'll be teaching you guys how to cut and sew this crop top that you can see on your screen so let's get right into the video so i'll be using this black stretchy fabric for mine and my fabric is folded in two. the length of this fabric is 11 inches and i'm going to start taking my measurements I'll go ahead and fold my fabric into two equal halves like this and the top part of this fabric is going to serve as my shoulder line so for that line I'm going to take um, half of my shoulder circumference which is 8 inches I'm going to add 1 inch to it for stitching allowance so I'm going to mark 9 inches on my shoulder length to know the wideness of the old fabric that I'll be using I'm going to use my bust circumference divided by 4 which is 9 inches i'm going to add one inch to it for stitching allowance so i'm going to place my tape on the center area of this fabric and i'm going to mark 10 inches and for the length of this fabric that is going to serve as my waistline so i'm going to take my waist circumference divided by four which is seven inches and i'm going to add one inch to that measurement after indicating that i'm going to connect these three dots together and then i'll cut so we're going to be adding a strap to this top and you're going to measure from your chest to your back and know the length of the strap you'll be needing for me the length of my strap is going to be um 12 inches so to get the length of the strap you'll be needing measure from your chest to your back and you'll be using that measurement to cut out your strap I hope you understand so i'll go ahead and notch the center front so that i'll know where my center is after cutting out i'm going to place this fabric on another piece of fabric and i'll cut out another one just exactly what we have because we'll be using this fabric for the lining so after cutting out this is what i have i'm going to fold this over like this into four just look at what i'm doing and i'm going to notch the middle so this is the point where we are going to place our strap before we cut this is the easiest way to know where to place your strap so i'm going to open it up for you guys to see so i'll remove um the lining and i'll drop it aside this is the main piece you can see the area where i notched so that is where we are going to be placing our strap before we sew so after doing that we are going to create that opening that you can see on this top so i'm going to fold it into two equal halves like this and i'm going to go up by two inches and um for the wideness it totally depends on you but know that the, um you're going to cut and you still sew so once you sew it's still going to be more opened so for me i'm going to go up by two inches and for the wideness i'll take 1.5 inches or two inches and then i'll cut out so after cutting out this is what i have so i'm going to place this on the lining piece and then i'll trace out um this center piece the next thing i'll do is to go ahead and cut out my strap so the length of my strap is 12 inches and the wideness is 1.5 inches so i'm going to mark 1.5 inches from the beginning of this piece of fabric to the end and i'll go ahead and cut out so i'll cut out two for this um one for the left and one for the right side and i'm going to fold it over like this right side facing each other and i'll sew to the end and then i'll turn it over so i've gone ahead to sew my strap in place i've turned it inside out and i've also ironed it and this is what i have so i'm going to bring back my front piece like this so i have to the lining and the main piece so i'm going to open it up like this and i'll go ahead and place my strap 
so the fabric is facing each other right sides and i'm placing my strap on the notch that i made earlier so please don't forget to do that i'm going to place my strap like this and i'll go ahead and pin it down then i'll use my fabric to cover it up and i'll pin all the way around after doing that i'll go ahead and sew all the sides but i'm going to leave a little bit of opening on the side for me to be able to turn everything over by the time i'm done sewing so i've gone ahead to sew and this is what i have you can see my opening on one side that is where i'm going to use to turn everything over so i'll go ahead and notch all the way around and then i'll turn inside out and i'll iron it flat for you guys to see what we have i've gone ahead to do that and this is what the front is looking like so the next thing i'll do is to cut out a band for this front piece so i'm going to cut out a band the wideness of this band is the same waist measurement that i have on the front piece and this band is folded into two i've already sewn it closed but i left the side because that is where i used to turn everything inside out so you can see this is my waist measurement the same measurement that i have on the front piece and the length of this band is 3.5 inches so i already ironed the middle point of this um, band so that i'll know where the middle is so i'm going to bring in my front piece like this and i'll still measure the um waist area and it's the same thing with this band so i'm going to place my front on the band just like you see me doing and then i'll pin i'll take it to my machine and i'll stitch like i said the length of this band is 3.5 inches after sewing the band to the front piece this is what i have and the next thing we'll do is to go ahead and cut out the back so i'm going to measure the length of the back what i have is 13 inches i'll measure the um, shoulder area for the back and i'll also measure the waist area for the back so this is what i'm going to use this is the measurement i'll use to cut out the back i'm going to cut out a square with this measurement so guys this is the fabric for the back so i use the same measurement that we have on the front to cut out the back so what you can see here is the same thing as the front but i've not added the band yet so i'll go ahead and fold it into two and then i'll fold it over just like we did for the front i want to get the point where we are going to sew our strap so i'll go ahead and notch it and i'll open it for you guys to see so you guys can see the part where i notched um the next thing i'll do is to cut out a facing i don't have enough fabric to cut out a lining for the back so i'm going to place my fabric on this piece of fabric right sides facing each other i'll go ahead and pin and then i'll cut out so i already have my facing what i'll do is to join the strap that i have for the front i'm going to join it to the back so just look at what i'm doing i'm placing my strap on that notch that i made earlier just like we did for the front i'll repeat the same thing for the other side and then i'll go ahead and sew and before i sew i also have the band for the um back and the length of the band is 3.5 inches um the wideness is the same wideness that we had for the front which is my waist measurement so i'll go ahead and also pin the um, band to the length of this um top and then i'll go ahead and sew So guys i've sewn the facing in place and i've also sewn um the band in place and this is what it's looking like so the next thing i'll do is to join the sides so i'm going to face the um, front and the back together like this and i'm going to fold the facing for the back i'm going to fold it over the front so if you don't understand just look at what i am doing 
so after folding it over i'm going to pin it like this and i'll pin the sides so i'm going to use um my stitching allowance of one inch to join both sides together so it is important that you use a stretchy fabric for this tutorial since we are not adding a zipper to this so i've gone ahead to do that and this is what our top is looking like so the next thing i'll do is to cut out the rope that i'll be using to um tie the chest area of this top just like what you can see on the thumbnail so i already went ahead to cut out the um strap it's the same way i cut out my strap actually and um, the length of this rope is 14 inches I went ahead to sew it right side facing each other and then I turned it inside out and I ironed it. So I'm going to show you guys how to tie the chest area of this top. So I'm going to pass the rope through like this and then I'm just going to tie it like this. And yeah, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe. Um, like this video is very important and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.